Hello, I'm Callie Lichter. Monroe County officials want to further research the former Thompson property as a potential site for a new jail. Separation of courts, attorney offices, probation, or any place where a defendant is required to report creates new barriers to participation. At a meeting Tuesday, several people said they want to see the jail close to the courts and other services. The county says next steps will include surveying nearby residents, getting appraisals, and completing geotechnical research. Schools across the state will receive nearly $30 million this year to spend on safety measures from the Secured School Safety Grant. Due to an increase in funding, the state approved all applicants. Governor Eric Holcomb says it's an example of historic investments in public safety. The biggest spending categories were school resource officers, law enforcement officers, safety equipment, technology, and hardware. And Indiana has lost more than 260 acres of wetlands since lawmakers removed protections for most of them in 2021. That's bigger than the Indiana State Fairgrounds. It appears that wetland loss is happening fastest in central Indiana in the Upper White River watershed. Only a quarter of the nearly 350 acres that have permits to be built on will have to be rebuilt elsewhere. Among other things, wetlands provide habitat for wildlife, reduce flooding, improve the water quality, and store carbon emissions. Now let's take a look at the weather. Tonight we have mostly clear skies with a low of 53 degrees. And looking towards the next five days, we're going to see a lot of sunny skies. And by next week, temperatures will be back in the 90s after being kind of chilly this past week. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.